This module is used to maintain finished goods and raw materials in view of material, perform item assembly, provide reports on transaction and stock balance. To enable it, go to Tools, Program Control, Module Setting. Check the checkbox of View of Material. This module is available in editions of AutoCount Premium and AutoCount Ultimate. OK. First of all, maintain stock items for finished goods and raw materials. Then key in their opening balances. In my example, bomb finished item is a finished goods that has no opening balance and its materials are bomb material A, B and C. Opening quantity is 50 for each material. Bill of material or bomb defines the materials and assembly cost needed to assemble one unit of finished goods item. Go to stock, more stock maintenance, item bomb maintenance and then click on new. Item code Assign the finished goods item code. The total balance quantity of this finished goods item is auto displayed. Description is auto displayed upon selection of item code. Assembly cost. Key in if there's any amount of cost involved in assembling one unit of this finished goods, which will be included in finished goods cost. Automatic serial number format. Applicable only if this is an item with serial number. Select a serial number format so that the system will auto generate serial number upon creation of finished goods. To maintain the serial number format, go to General Maintenance, Document Numbering Format Maintenance, click on New and select Document Tab as Sharp. After saved, you will appear under Category of others. Click on plus sign to add sub item code. This is the bomb material items and put in the quantity of this material needed to assemble one unit of finished goods. Overhead cost is the additional cost other than the cost price of this material item that will occur when using this material item to assemble finished goods regardless of quantity. Total balance quantity is the current balance quantity of this material item. This is auto displayed. And the sequence indicating the sequence order of material items. Finished good cost is the total assembly cost of one unit of bomb finished goods, including material cost, overhead cost, and assembly cost. Manual update bomb cost is used to manually update when needed the standard cost of these finished goods either from sub-items standard cost or sub-items up-to-date cost. Alternatively, auto-update bomb cost set to automatically update the standard cost of these finished goods either from sub-item standard cost or sub-item up-to-date cost whenever there is a change in the cost. Recalculate is to recalculate the cost of this bomb finished goods based on latest updates. Click on Save. The bomb maintenance is listed. You may click on the plus sign before the item code to show the sub-items and details. This is to maintain optional or alternative material items for bomb finished goods. It will be used in stock assembly and stock assembly order. Go to stock, bomb optional, and then click on new. Key in a code for this bomb optional and the description for this bomb optional. Under details tab, click on plus sign to assign sub items. For example, to replace one unit of bomb C, Put quantity negative 1 with 2 units of bomb D and key in positive 2 under quantity column. Put in the overhead cost if there's any. You may replace one material with one or more other materials. 
as long as the negative quantity is to be replaced by the positive quantity item. Click on Apply to Bomb Item tab and you may click on the plus button to assign those bomb finished goods items that this bomb optional can be applied. For example, I want to apply this optional onto bomb item BOM and then save. Just like the function of sales order or purchase order, stock assembly order will not affect stock movement. It can be transferred to stock assembly and there will be an outstanding report on stock assembly orders that have not been transferred. Go to stock, stock assembly order, click on create a new stock assembly order. You may click on transfer document to transfer from sales order. This is the description of the document or document description. Stock assembly order number is auto run and the next possible number is shown on the top of the windows. You may click on new to key in any document number if you want. The date is the document date. Key in related reference document number if any and expected completion date or number of days for reference. Under finished goods, Select the finished goods item to be assembled and key in the required quantity. At the main tab, the related materials will be listed with UOM rate, the quantity of material item needed for one unit of this finished goods, quantity needed, material item unit cost, overhead cost, and subtotal. Click on Raw Material Status tab to show the total quantity of materials needed and stock availability. Back to the main tab, you may click on Apply Bomb Optional to apply bomb optional that was maintained earlier, for example, to substitute one or more of the material items. Just check the checkbox to select, fill in the quantity, and click on OK and the items is replaced. You may also click on minus or plus button to remove or add a material item or just edit item code, quantity, item cost, overhead cost and uh, or assembly cost. Click on save. There will be no effect on stock card report because the actual assembly has not taken place yet. Stock assembly is to assemble finished goods according to bomb setting. This transaction will increase stock quantity of finished goods and at the same time reduce the stock quantity of material items. Go to stock, stock assembly, click on create a new stock assembly. You may use the transfer document to transfer from stock assembly order or key in the flash stock assembly key in the document description, select finished goods to be assembled, and key in the required quantity. Just like stock assembly order, the main tab shows related materials and the cost. Highlight any item row and click on show up to date cost details. You may view at the footer area the up to date cost of the highlighted item. Child item is to be used together with bomb optional when multi-level assembly module is enabled. Update item cost with standard up-to-date cost is to update the cost of item with their current standard cost or up-to-date cost. The dismantle quantity is the quantity of this item that has been dismantled or taken out from this assembly. Total cost is the total cost of material items including overhead cost. Assembly cost is the total assembly cost derived from assembly cost per set multiplied by assembly quantity. Net total cost will be used to calculate unit cost of these finished goods. View the stock card report. Finished goods item bomb is updated with in quantity of 5 and a material item bomb 
A is reduced with tank out quantity and so for bomb B out quantity 15 bomb C out quantity 5 this mental quantity must be recorded when one or more material items were taken out from assembled item the dismantled items will be returned back to storeroom that means stock will increase and the quantity of assembled finished goods will be reduced accordingly look at the stock assembly again key in the quantity value of items taken out or dismantled into the column of dismantled quantity one for bomb C click on save in stock assembly listing grid, the assembly document is marked with this mender. View the stock card report again. You may see that the in out quantity of the finished goods and bomb C were updated accordingly, and so the balance quantity. This report will list all bomb items and show the maximum quantity of finished goods that could be assembled based on currently available material item stock level. Go to Stock, Bomb Listing Report, define the filter options and click on Inquiry. You may click on the plus sign before the item code to expand the details of sub-items. Maximum manufactured quantity is the maximum quantity of finished goods that can be assembled based on current level stock of all related materials items. Look at individual material items. Ratio is the maximum rounded quantity that can be assembled based on this materials item stock level. This is derived by taking available quantity and divide by the required quantity. This is to check the usage of a material item, such as to be used in which finished item and the quantity needed to produce one unit of that finished item. Go to Inquiry, Bomb Material Usage Inquiry. Select a material item code or sub item code, and the finished goods items that are using this material will be listed. At the same time, it also shows the quantity of material needed to assemble one unit of such finished goods item. This is to check the availability of material items if a certain quantity of finished goods is to be assembled. Go to Inquiry, check Bomb Material Inquiry. Click on the plus button to select a finished goods item and key in the quantity to be manufactured. You may click on plus sign again to add more than one finished goods item at the same time. Then click on inquiry. This is the info of the finished goods highlighted. The material items needed will be listed with required quantity, available quantity, total required quantity, and balance quantity after this assembly. The negative value in balance quantity means insufficient quantity of that material item. Short of 10 bomb B to make 15 units of bomb finished good. If you click on raw material summary tab, we will display the summarized info of material inquiry. That's all for view of material module. Thank you.